there is a kind of prayer that we call intercession. You know, from the Bible, we see over in Ephesians, uh, Paul spoke there and said, pray all kinds of prayer. So this is one kind of prayer intercession. We have the prayer of agreement. We have uh, the prayer of praise and worship. We have the prayer of bonding and loosing and so on. And they're all different. But one of the kinds of prayers we see from the Bible is something called intercession. And actually here in 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 7, this, the, that word pray there is intercession. And before I finish, you'll see why it's intercession. And it's where uh, we actually take on uh, the burden of another as our very own. We take on their burden as our own. Intercession is actually stepping over into somebody else's shoes. Stepping over into that person where they live, where they are. For instance, if uh, you were in prison, you were incarcerated in jail. If I was going to intercede for you, I would actually become you. In prayer, I would sense all of your feelings, everything that you're going through there. I would begin to sense that and I would actually pray from that place. I would pray from this is mine, where you are incarcerated. This is mine. This is where I am. I would pray from that position. It's not the kind of prayer where you're standing off and you would ask for God's will. Or then you would lay out the word of God and give your opinion of how it should be. No, you take on that burden as though it were your very own. You identify with the person. I remember years ago, Brother Hagen talking about this when he would pray for souls. And uh, I know people in this room right here that have actually had uh, that same thing. Uh, he would be praying for souls, and he said, I would actually feel, as I was praying, I would feel lost. He would say, well, I'm not lost, and I would have to remind myself, I'm not lost. Sometimes he said he would feel like he was sliding down into hell, and he would have to remind himself that he wasn't lost, but he's praying for somebody else. You actually uh, take their place. I remember uh, years ago when I had a Bible study, a woman's Bible study, and uh, I, um, there was a woman in there that was very depressed, very, she was on medication, she, it was just the work. She was very, very depressed. And I found myself praying for her, and I would feel like I was depressed. So I, I would then check myself, wait a minute now, I have joy, I have peace in here, I have joy, I have peace, this is not me. So what was happening is I was taking that on and I would pray from that place. That is what intercession is. So what we could say about intercession is, is, is like with Jesus, he took our infirmities. And the reason that he did that was he didn't want us to have him and because he loved us so much. So we could actually say about intercession is that intercession is love. Love. 